Hello all, welcome to the scripting Wi-Fi pen testing tools in Python series at Pen Tester Academy. Now in this video, we will look at how to create fake AP beacons using Scapy. Now when can this come in handy? Well, the ability to create AP beacons can be used in a ton of ways. Eventually, you can use this to create a full-blown fake AP like Airbase NG, right? This would be one of the small components in there. Uh, you could also go ahead and escalate this to full-blown beacon frame fuzzing uh, as we've seen with tools like MDK3 in the Wi-Fi security course and really a ton of things. So what is the end objective of this video? Now we would like to create an access point by sending out just beacons and we would need to go ahead and confuse Wi-Fi devices around that this is an actual AP and they should display it in their network lists. So let's jump right in. I'm going to call this fake uh, beacons ap.py. Sys. Now, the first step, of course, is to create the packet. Uh, before that, let me go ahead and define the broadcast ADD address. the BSS ID of the AP, all is, and now let's actually create the packet. First is the dot 11 header, in that address one or destination would be broadcast, address two would be the Mac of the AP, and address 3, the BSS ID would again be the MAC of the AP. Then we have the dot 11 beacon layer. Now for this we would need to define the capabilities of the AP. So let's actually open up Wireshark and inspect a real beacon frame from an access point which we've set up called totally secure. Here it is. Let's try and replicate aspects of the beacon frame. So I have selected totally secure. And if I go to the beacon frame in here, let's go right down to the fixed parameters. If you notice capability information, uh, which tells you know any receiving device that this is an AP, etc is actually in here. Now we'll clone this value 0411. If you look at the hex equivalent in here, you know, remember to account for the EDNness and hence the value which would be sent is 1104, right? So we go in here and say capability information 0x1104. Right, 1104. Now after that we have a bunch of tagged parameters. Uh, for an access point, the SSID supported rates, DS parameter, and the TIM is something which is very, very important, right? So let's go ahead, put these four in, the SSID parameter. Now all of this, if you recall in previous videos, are nothing but dot .11 ELTs. So let's go back in here and Let's put in our first dot 11 ELT. Now the ID field is going to be zero for the SSID. The info field would be the SSID, which is sys.rv1. Let's take that as input. So this is the first dot 11 ELT. Let's create the next one. In this case, the ID field 
uh, is going to be for the supported rates right the value of the ID field is 1 let's go back in here and the info looks like this AP is going ahead and giving out eight different rates so 82 84 so let's just copy this 82 84 8p 82 84 8p and then 96 24 30 96 24 30 and then 96, 24, 30, 48, 6C. Great. Let's actually put in the next one. This is going to be the DS parameter. The tag number is 3 and the value let's say is 11. Tag number is 3. The value just depends what we want to put in here. Let's say we put in the exact same value as this AP 11, which would be 0B. Then you have the final ELT, which is the DTIM, which is important. Uh, this has a tag number 5, let's put that in, id equals 5, info is equal to, we go back in here, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, these seem to be the four values, right, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, let's just put them in here. there we go now let's send this over layer 2 I want to send the packet the interface is going to be mon0 count let's take that as input system then the inter packet time let's say point 2 there we go Okay, so let's try this out. So first step is the SSID. Let's hacker rig. And the second input was the number of packets. Let's put in a large value. Now let's see if hacker rig shows up. And there you go. If you see hacker rig is now showing up on our wireless devices fantastic right so this is how in just again of just probably what how many lines is this uh, hardly 10 lines of scapy probably less if you remove all the blank lines we've created uh, a fake access point using beacon frames right and you clearly see once you understand the whole layered approach in Scapy, how easy it is to actually go ahead and build and replicate uh, existing security and pen testing tools. Awesome. So hopefully you guys had fun in this video. And if you have, please do recommend us to your friends and colleagues in the InfoSec community. Thank you.